blessing to see everyone here today and what a glorious blessed day in the life of any church and of new believers as we observe the ordinance of baptism we have two candidates today that are coming on statement of faith to be baptized sister samantha and brother drew and we are going to rejoice with them as they take part in this baptism I have talked with both of them. They both understand that the baptism is not salvation in and of itself, but it's the first step in obedience to believers. It signifies their death to self, the burial of their sinful past that God forgets. And as they come out of the water, it signifies a new birth. They become a new creation in Christ. So join with us as we celebrate and we'll bring Sister Samantha in first. I baptize you, my sister Samantha, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. And now as Brother Drew makes his way up, I will tell you when I counsel folks before baptism, there's a series of questions that I ask them to make sure they understand what's going on. Come on, brother. And with Drew, it was easy. I asked one question, and he was so excited, he gave me all the correct answers at one time. <laughs> so we are blessed to have Drew and uh, Haley and Catherine with us this morning. And what a blessing to have this family coming back into our fold. Drew is planning on joining our fellowship here. Uh, this afternoon, so we'll rejoice again after our service as we welcome him into the family at Tall Pines Baptist Church. Amen. I baptize you, my brother Drew, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my brother. Now be blessed as we go forward with our service. 